Hi, I'm Random Trashy and welcome to the channel. So today I want to talk about the tactical wrist case from Warrior Assault Systems. It's a piece of kit that I actually got to borrow last year when I was at an event with Co uh, Combat Airsoft Group. We were in Otterburn uh, and I actually found it to be an absolutely essential piece of kit. And I've just managed to get my hands on one for myself. Uh, I've got it here in Crime Multicam. Now, initially, I never thought I'd be using kit like this until the levels of my Milsim experiences were changed. To be completely honest, something like this is absolutely essential to me now. Um, after using one before, especially with the amount of information that we had to withhold, uh, just knowing it offhand, being able to get to that information quickly throughout the entire operation was really vital, especially for myself. I was put as lead scout for the group, so I was out there in front making sure that we were hitting our waypoints, making sure that they were comms back to zero, um, and also checking on the map to make sure that we were in the right position at all times and we could reference where other members of our unit were. So this unit is a wrist map case essentially. We've got some really nice features on here, nice anti-slip or a rubberized texture on the back of here to stop you from moving around on your wrist. This will work on left and right wrist. I was actually wearing it on my left wrist, so we've got the larger strap at the back and the smaller one at the front, um, but you can actually swap those over. Tons of adjustment on there if you were to wear it just on a bare wrist or if you were to wear it over a large jacket or anything like that. There's plenty of adjustment on there so that that is going to fit. Flipping around to the front, uh, we've got a nice big zip pouch on the front in here. Um, and what actually run in mine was some dry wipe markers, so the ones that you'd get for a whiteboard. And that means that I could draw on the map and quickly wipe it away just to reference where we were to some members of the team and not leave anything hard on the maps, just in case we got caught. So then moving down from that, we've got a nice Velcro panel across the front here. We can put ID, morale, anything like that. But if you do also have Velcro code words or anything like that made up, then you can stick them across the front. Open this up is really where I spent a lot of time in this open uh, and looking at the information in here. I've actually got a reference card still in here and just wanted to show the double sided nature of this. We've got a map there on the back. Flipping it round, we've got two laminated areas below. Um, we have actually been using quick cards with some of the guys that I'm running with at the minute with code words for buildings um, and how they're all, you know, uh, how they're orientated um, and how we call out the sides of them. Also been putting information in there on HVI, Intel, how we call Intel back over the um, over the comms, uh, CAS 9 liners, which I've never worked with before, so that was quite good having some information in here about it. But the key thing for me was having the map in here and being able to draw on this with a dry wipe marker, just point to people exactly where we are, you can quickly wipe that off. Or if you do want to leave information on there, you can scribble on these um, and it will stay on there while it's tucked away in your wrist. The good thing about this as well, especially having the information in these two and information that you're going to go back and reference frequently, is that if you are using a notepad and pen, which I'm sure you've all done before over operations, and you're constantly getting in and out of your pocket as soon as it gets wet, your hands or gloves get muddy, uh, that information can be sort of damaged and hard to read over a very short period of time, especially if you're gonna be out for 48, 72 hours, um, that information can get damaged. Something like this is really nice, tucks away really well, you keep all of your information in there, it's easy to get on and off, and it's very easy to access the information. So a really, really nice piece of kit, and something that after using it before, I don't see how I've got through the ops without using pieces of kit like this. Very, very nice features on it. As mentioned before, I've got it here in Cry Multicam. Um, so yeah, really, really good piece of kit, something that's very, very handy. If you do have any more information about that, or you want some more information, uh, questions, anything like that, make sure you stick them in the box below. I will get back to you as soon as possible. If you do want to go and pick one of these up, head over to uktactical.com. Um, they've got them over there available on the site. So thank you very much for watching. Any likes, or if you subscribe to the channel, it really does help the channel out a lot. I really appreciate all of the input from you guys. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all soon.